three, eight, nine, four. Oh my re Oh. Hel hello. I uh, I was just counting my cash because this video features a sponsored message from Surfshark VPN. Uh, however, we can forget about this because I brought a microscope. And today I'm gonna be microscoping a whole bunch of things. Everyday objects, organisms, micro universes. The, the, do, the, okay. Oh, that was a massive creature! Now you're probably wondering why on earth I wanted to buy a microscope. Well, I just thought it's a whole new world in there. You know, you look up to the stars and you think, wow, what's out there? You never look at the ground and go, wow, what's there? Small things. Apparently there's lots of small things in the world and we will be able to see them today. So I've collected four water samples uh, from my tap, which I've been drinking every day for my life, uh, a river, a lake, and a swamp. Now this will be the money shot. This is where the activity is gonna be. However, this microscope also came with a bunch of stuff already in a scientific slide. God knows how, but somehow there is human blood smear. We'll take a look at it, but I don't know if I should be touching that. I've also got a few just daily life items like tuna, I've heard rumors there's literal plastic in tuna fish. Got some Barocca, crowd favorite. See what's going on in those tablets and some barbecue sauce. That should be interesting. So let us fire up this puppy. Boom. And take a look at the human blood smear. Whoa, hang on a second. There's some donuts in this blood. Oh my gosh. We are close. And that is a lot of, I'll, I'll figure out how many times zoom that is and I'll write it there because I don't know. I don't know how this works. I literally just bought a microscope and I'm winging it. Now we're gonna be looking at a honeybee wing. Oh, yo, you can see the hairs. It looks like a thorn bush. Yo, that is epic. And you know what? This isn't even close. We can go even closer. Oh God. Oh, yo, bro, this is actually wild. This is, this is literally blowing my brain. All right, I'm pretty eager to check out uh, Barocca. Oh, okay, yo, this is actually wild. That looks like a planetarium. Enhance, this is mango flavor. Why is there red in mango flavor? All right, let's take a look at this ant. Oh God, it's it's literally ginormous. This thing is a little ant and look at how big it is. That is an ant leg. Oh my God. Oh yo, you get a whole different, oh damn. Okay, few modifications. I switched the light from the bottom to the top and I uh, got rid of the top piece of glass because it was kind of making it blurry. I don't even know what, I, where's the pincers? All right, rest in peace, Ant. Thanks for the science. It's time to move on to something a bit more lighthearted. Barbecue sauce. Now that looks scientific. That splot, you probably, you can't, I'll just show you real close. Oh, it's moving, it's alive. Oh, yo. That is, so, that is barbecue sauce. And that looks like extra planetarium. There's no barbecues. which is a bit of a shame. This is literally a million times into source. All right, before we get on to the grand finale, that is these water sources, uh, because that is bound to be interesting. I've heard that there's millions of creatures in water, and if we find any in my drinking tap water, that will be horrific. I hope that that is clean. However, before we get to that, another kind of microscopic myth is that tuna has plastic in it. I've heard, I've seen that there's microplastics in tuna and today we're gonna find out. But speaking of tuna, sharks. Speaking of sharks, Surfshark VPN sponsored this video for me to tell you this. Surfshark VPN is a VPN, which a VPN is a virtual private network 
which is a way for you to surf the web securely anywhere from anywhere in the world. They've got over 3,200 servers in 65 countries. So whatever you're looking to do, I'm sure you'll find the right place to do it. Also, with one subscription, you can install it on an unlimited amount of devices. Your whole family, your dog if your dog has a device. So if you're bored of your current Netflix library, you can go to a whole nother country, see what they got on offer, or maybe you're curious to see what YouTube ads are like in other countries. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee, which means if you don't like it within 30 days, you get all your money back. Well, bam, in the bank. So go to the link in the description or use code Darcy. Wow, that's clean code. I'm surprised no other Darcy shield out Surfshark VPN. Uh, and you get 83% off plus three months for free. That's a great deal. Now, let's check out this tuna. Oh my God, this is a pivotable moment. Pivotable. <laughs> that is nasty. Okay, there we have it. That is tuna. Now, is there any microscopic plastics? Okay, I have been scouring this tuna up and down for day, minutes, but I haven't found any microplastics. Although this is a small sample size, one piece of tuna out of one can, out of one fleet of tuna cans, and there's no plastic. So maybe uh, the people that have shown plastic in the tuna planted it there, or I've just gotten lucky. Anyway, now it's time for the exciting moment, which is the water test. First up, we're gonna be testing out this swamp water, which was retrieved from a legitimate swamp. Science lesson, microscope, Slide, cover slip, specimen. The cover slip is very dirty because they were cheap. It was like $8 for a thousand of them. And then half of them were smashed. Now you drop the cover slip o over the slide and then it spreads out the water and makes a very thin layer so any creatures in there can't swim up or down, they can only swim along. And then you see them better. There he is! Oh, an ant, an ant! Where'd that slippery sucker go? The, 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 okay. Oh, that was a massive creature! Did you see that? Okay, this is good. All right, what I'm thinking, we need to set up camp and wait for the creatures to come to us because I'm having no luck chasing these guys. I don't know what I'm looking at. MASSIVE CREATURE! Holy smokes! Where did he... Get back here, you... S okay. Alright. Let's enhance. Yo! We found a creature! Yes! We did it. I didn't think... I, I was getting worried there. That was a lot of chasing. We found a creature. Unfortunately, he is dead. Or maybe asleep. But that's good news. Okay, now we know we're on the right level. Bye bye, Miss. This may be the last time I ever see you again. Because you are a needle in a haystack, my friend. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Please, thank you. Uh, permission to use you as a thumbnail. Thanks. Okay, goodbye. Okay, good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I f we're on the right level of focus. Now we need to go absolute creature scouring. All right, I haven't been able to find any more creatures in the swamp water, but I'm pretty happy with that guy we found. He was a big sucker. Next up, why don't we go straight polar opposite and try the tap water? Part of me wants to find some creatures. The other part of me hopes there's nothing living in this. What is that? What is that? Good news, it's not alive. Bad news, I have no idea what it is. And that is in my drinking water. That looks like a piece of rock. No. No, there's a stick in my water! Damn! Ah, oh, I've been drinking this. Ah, oh, that's a splinter. That's an internal splinter. We've found another creature to focus in on. What could it possibly be? Okay, that is trippy. I don't know what that is, but it appears there's a few things floating around in my drinking water. Don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Any real scientists let me know if I need to really 
uh, change my ways or if that's safe to consume. But now we're gonna move on to the river water. Oh, I've, I've just squirted, I've, tam conta <laughs> I've contaminated the subject. All right, I'll be honest with you here. This was full of tap water. I accidentally just squirted it into the river water. However, I don't think it will affect the test. Okay, there appears to be several uh, stagnant specimens in this river. Yet to find any signs of life. Okay, I regret to inform you that there has been absolutely nothing. Oh! Yeah, no, just another false alarm. There's been nothing exciting in this river water. That is a disappointment. Okay, the final aqua test subject is entering the scope. Will we find any activity? Oh, straight away, there was a shooting... St there was a creature. Did you see it? There was something fishy going up the... the okay, oh, okay. Yeah, this is a active ecosystem. Oh, creep! There, okay, there was a creature. There, oh, yo. Yo, there's a dude! There's a dude! Ah! Stay! Ah, oh, he ran away. Oh! Ah! It appears to be a deceased plankton. You can see it's got a... Oh, there's a swimmer! Oh, this is exciting! Except I can't find the suckers. Microscoping is harder than you thought. Pay respects to the scientists. Saving lives in the comments. Because this ain't easy. Okay, it appears I found a couple of... Whoa, there was a big guy. It appears I found a couple of worms feeding on some sludge. I found two worm dudes that appear to be attached. What they're up to, nothing but a mystery. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. I just zoomed out and it's almost more interesting. It's certainly a lot easier to focus the more zoomed out you are. There's a guy. There's so many guys getting around. But when I'm extra zoomed in, they're very hard to find. Yeah, I think I've learned a lot about microscoping today. I need one of those adjusters because moving it with your hands is difficult. Also, this microscope Maybe not the best at the super zoomed in. And there's also, I think, dust on a lot of the pieces of glass that are getting used here. You never know what... Oh my... What in Lord's name? Hello? Oh God, we just found the behemoth of a creature. Oh God. Oh, it's a... Oh my God. That is, it's got to be its head. God. Jeepers creepers. That thing is gigantic. Well, it's really not actually. It's quite small, but look at that. Wow. On that note, I've been sitting here for an hour and 20 minutes looking at microscopic stuff. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. So I would rate just doing this stuff. Oh, I forgot to rate in the last video. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I put probably maybe too many like prerequisites for just doing stuff in. The segments at the end, the fan of fortune, which was just gonna be a joke where every time I never got it to work. But I did like the fact that I would rate the things I did. So last week, I invented a product. And inventing your own thing with household objects is quite interesting. And you learn something along the way, and you bring an idea to life, and it's a little bit creative. I give that a nine out of 10, because you really got nothing to lose. You got an idea, you make a product. Now, microscoping stuff. I gotta say, microscopes can be expensive. Thanks to Surfshark VPN, by the way, for the money. Check the link down below if you feel like looking into that. Uh, and maybe they'll sponsor me again and we can buy more wacky stuff. But I give microscoping things a seven out of 10. It's very exciting when you find stuff, but finding the stuff is difficult. Focusing in on the right spot, gathering the test subjects, it's a whole thing. But if you're into it, then I would pursue it. However, you don't have to. Because if you have any things, things, 
I'm starting to lose it now, it's been too long. If you have anything you want to see microscoped, leave a comment down below. And if enough people like this video, I'll do another microscope session uh, based on your suggestions. So with that being said, this has already probably been long enough. And that's it. I'll, I'll, I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.